Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. We've got a project car we're working on right now. It's a Honda Prelude. And in that car, we're gonna put a two liter Type S motor. We actually have one that has some really cool skunk parts on it, made about 230 horsepower with the stock bottom end. And one of the things that helped contribute to that was the larger throttle body. Now, I wanna kinda of show you what we're gonna be doing with that. Uh, if you get an aftermarket throttle body, usually they come like this. There's no TPS, there's no idle air control valve, uh, and no map sensor. So if you have the, oh, and no throttle cable bracket either. If you have a Type S throttle body, you can just transfer those parts over onto your throttle body and, and be done with it. Uh, you can also buy these for about $150 on eBay, although you're not gonna be really certain what kind of uh, uh, condition it's gonna be in. Hopefully they'll give you a guarantee with that as well. Anyway, I'm here to show you a different way to do that. What I like to do is visit the junkyard. You can get a lot of stuff in the junkyard. Some things are good at the junkyard, some things not so good at the junkyard. So first off though, is the idle air control valve. This thing is available on a lot of different vehicles. It comes on the 98 to 2000 Accord that came with the V6, comes on the 01 to I think a 002 Accord, which also came with the V6. Make sure you get one with the throttle body that is cable operated, not drive by wire. And same thing with the J series Acura TL. So probably starting in 99 or so when they first started coming with the J and possibly up through 2003, 2004, they have the same idle air control valve. Don't forget, by the way, to get the gasket, although it might be worthwhile to uh, get a new one of those. Uh, anyway, this bolts on the bottom and that bolt pattern matches. The only difference between this one and the RSX Type S one is this one water port. See how this one goes straight down, this one goes forward? doesn't really matter. That's not used anyway. If you look at most throttle bodies, there's not a water port even on there. So they're not being thermally activated. They're only being controlled by the ECU. So this is easily installed. It's gonna work. There's lots of ones available. Uh, at my particular pick and pull your own salvage yard, these cost me about nine bucks, which is I think a pretty good deal. So light the screws. Screw it all down. All right, there we go. So the next thing we're looking for is the map sensor. The map sensor on any K-series powered car is gonna pretty much plug right in there. Uh, CRV, uh, the uh, element, uh, RSX, base model, whatever, that map sensor, they're all the same. They're gonna fit right on there. Might wanna use a little lube to get the uh, O-ring down in there. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna put this one on because I don't wanna risk tearing the O-ring right now. But normally what I do is put a little silicon lubricant on that uh, or Teflon and then it pops in there real nicely. Uh, so those are two of the parts you need. The third one is the throttle position sensor. Now, as we talked about in an earlier episode, there's only a, a couple of throttle position sensors. Actually, there's only two kinds of cars you can get off. You can get it off the Type S throttle body, or you can get it off the Accord Euro R. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Now, you can buy these throttle position sensors from eBay or from uh, uh, Amazon. They're gonna range from about uh, 15 bucks up to about 40, 45 bucks shipped to you. Most of those are real turds. They're not gonna do a very good job. There's some other companies that make them as well uh, that are gonna have guarantees. There's Flox, there's K-Tune, uh, probably a few others. Uh, but my favorite one is this one right here made by Acuity. Acuity does it a little bit differently. Most of the throttle position sensors are kind of like a variable sensor. There's a coil of wire in there and uh, a small piece that goes back and forth across the coil. This is actually a Hall effect sensor. So it's done a little bit differently. And I find it's a lot more resistant to uh, vibrations. And so it's more durable. So the Acuity one is, is really good. Get that one, bolt it on. 
it's made just like the stock one. There's range in there for adjusting it, but uh, bolt it on just like you would a stock one. By the way, the stock ones come with shear bolts. I don't know if you see that. There's basically no, uh, basically there's no bolt head or anything like on there. When they get put in, they're not really meant to be serviced. So they're just kind of, uh, you know, put in there and, and then that's it. They're in there. All right, so we're gonna bolt this down. We're gonna leave it loose enough so that we can move it a little bit because I'm gonna show you how to adjust it properly so that you get the right voltage. Now, from here, you can see it moves back and forth. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to one of our cars, we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna do a quick measurement on the voltage. Setting the throttle position sensor isn't particularly hard. I'm gonna assume you have a car you're putting it on, so this should be the easy part. The other thing you're gonna need is a voltmeter. Now, since we're not actually installing this one on this car, I'm just gonna plug it in. These TPSs work the same way, so it's all gonna be the same. The engine's turned on right now. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the stiff wire in as a back probe. It's gonna go in, slide in along the wire behind the insulator and go down and make contact with metal underneath. Find a good ground, connect to our thing. And it looks like right now we're sitting right at about 0.42 volts. That's actually close enough. Most of the, excuse me, most of the programmable ECUs have a way of zeroing out the TPS. That would probably be fine if we tighten it down right there. But what we can do is we can adjust this back and forth a little bit, and that'll change the voltage. And once we get it to the voltage that we want, we just tighten down the screws. We're looking for about half a volt. Now, another way we can do this is installed on the car, hook up either our, our on data or K tuner and connect it to a computer and do live data logging. While we're there, we can adjust the TPS until we get right to say 0% right as it changes over from 1% to 0%, right as you get to that point, tighten it down. Now the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to be a lot below 0% because that may give you some throttle movement before it starts registering as 1%. The last thing I want to talk about is the throttle cable bracket. This obviously the one from the Type S, it's available still through Acura. Most of the online places sell it for about 17 bucks. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It has a place for two throttle cables. You're not gonna really need the second one with most of the aftermarket throttle bodies. In fact, I don't know of any that have two quadrants. Uh, the second half, of course, is used for cruise control. Uh, I'll tell you what would be an interesting product somebody needs to make. Somebody should make throttle cable brackets that work with all the different swap so they would be swap specific let's say you've got an ek with a uh you know maybe a cx or uh, or dx maybe make a follow cable bracket that works with that throttle cable uh if you've got an eg that's going to be different there's a couple different throttle cables there and of course you have an integra so perhaps i'll come up with that product sounds like a good idea anyway guys thank you very much for joining us on this other on another Quick tip, I know a lot of them have been very K-series oriented, uh, but really that's kind of what's hot right now. Uh, we will be back in uh, another week with another quick tip. Uh, I think, uh, not sure what the next one's gonna be about. If you have an idea of something you'd like to learn about, why don't you put a comment down in the comment section below and I'll read them and figure out where we're gonna go with the Quick Tip series. And it doesn't have to be K-series. I appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing and talk to you later.